in this current situation and in terms of the future, I think creativity and innovation and entrepreneurship will be skills that we need for the future. So practice your creativity. So if your child was not so happy about keeping their arms up while you were tracing the outline, there are a couple of other options. The one is lying down and um, uh, Bridget is going to explain exactly how to trace your child's outline in a variety of ways while lying down. I'm now going to demonstrate the mind moves massage in a lying down position. Um, the most basic way to do it is using your hands. So starting at the head, facing pressure, not too much, into the neck nicely, along the body to the hands, right under the arms, all the way down. And when we get to the bottom, Hayden has already been told he doesn't, he mustn't push his toes like that. He must just hold nice and firm as I push up. And this simulates the grounding the feet, which we do in the standing mind moves massage. So I'm going to hold for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice that I don't, didn't only push, but I squeezed at the same time. We also work with children who don't necessarily like being touched with the hands. So we use different apparatus, soft toys, balls of different sizes, and they just add a bit of variety and fun. So now with using these big balls, just as you would with a normal massage, you start the head, pressure down. He likes this, <laughs> enjoys that feeling. Keep your arms nice and strong all the way to the hands. Very important to try and keep the same pressure and the same speed on both sides. And again, we're gonna hold for eight as he resists the pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With every single activity, a mind moves exercise, we do three repetitions of each, and if we're going to hold anything, we hold for eight seconds. The downside of using those big balls is they don't go nicely into the neck. Uh, so you can find balls of varying sizes, and um, this ball over here, I don't have two of them unfortunately, but it's quite nice and smooth. These tennis balls do have a bit of a, they can have a bit of a prickly texture, so you just find something that your child actually enjoys. Um, these tennis balls are stage two and you do get bigger ones which are the yellow and red ones which can be quite nice. The thing with the small balls is you as a therapist or parent need to be quite dexterous in order to do it. Um, again, having to apply, apply the same amount of pressure and go at the same speed. So let's give this a try. Starting at the head. Right into the neck, you like this one? Yeah. <laughs> All the way along to the hands, and I'm going to first push on the hands, come down underneath, under the arms. And let's see if we can squeeze and push at the same time. And one, two, keep it firm, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I often use these two little bunnies. Uh, they've obviously got the same texture, so it'll feel the same on either side. So we start at the head, pressure down, nice and slowly into the neck, stimulating those gravitational receptors in the neck. Pressure on the hands, keep your arms nice and strong, nice and strong, don't let me push them up. No. All the way down to the feet and hold, squeeze for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But there are other fun things that you can do. You can get your children 
you can do it yourself as well, but you can get your children to use chalk and to trace each other's outline while lying down. I often um, have footage from from um, preschoolers because they're a little bit more cooperative than older children sometimes. So you can do the same thing with older children. But the children can trace each other's outline and then they can get up and then they need to look, where am I? That is called reading. Tracing the outline is called writing. Not only can you do the tracing of the outline lying down, you can also do it standing up against the wall and then the child's a little bit older, let them draw their face, let them colour in clothes, let them draw clothes. And then the best part is if you use um, a squirt bottle or um, um, water pistols, boys absolutely love it, girls too, you can get, you, um, encourage them to use the um, squirting guns or the bottles to trace the outline. Marvellous eye-hand coordination, different form of symbolic um, um, reading, all fun skills for your child to get them ready to read the symbols of language a little bit later. And we really want to urge other viewers to send videos, short videos and photos of the marvellous activities that you are doing with your child to promote reading.